slice of pizza simply melts in your mouth. A bite of the delicious burger is never a no-no. And what about desserts? A piece of cake or a brownie is always at the top of our wish list. Whatever food we eat, it always has to pass the churning process or the physical breakdown. Mastication, that is chewing, is one of the most important commencing steps of digestion. And who helps in this process? The sole components of the buccal cavity involved in mastication are the teeth. They help in biting, chewing and grinding the food we eat. Let's have a look at the teeth in detail in this video. To understand teeth, let's begin with knowing the structure of a typical tooth first. A tooth consists of two main regions, one which is above the gum surface and the other is present below it. What are the gums by the way? Gums, also called the gingiva, are the soft tissue linings in the mouth. But the gums appear to be so hard. So how can they be called soft tissue linings? Well, that is because gums are soft tissues, but they're tightly bound to the bones under them. They act as the anchoring point for our teeth. They help in firmly holding the teeth at their position. In humans, for example, the teeth are firmly rooted in the sockets formed in the gums. The morphology gets a name thecodont. This simply means the type in which the teeth are embedded in the sockets formed in the gums. Now, after having a glance at the gums, let's look at the actual tooth. This is what a typical tooth in a vertical section looks like. Let's begin from the top. Here, this part, seen above the gums, is called as the crown. So, the part which we can see is the crown of our tooth. Since the crown is the part exposed to all types of food particles and which encounters microbes as well, it needs to be well protected. Hence, it's coated with an extremely hard covering named enamel. Now, if I ask you, what is stronger, a bone or the enamel? I'm sure your answer will be bone. But that's not the case. It's actually the enamel. Yes, enamel is the hardest tissue or substance in the human body. The next layer after enamel is also extremely hard. This layer is what we're talking about. It's called the dentine. What do you think would be its function? As we can see here, the dentine mainly acts as a connecting bridge between the crown on top and this root lying below it. Root? Do teeth also have roots? Yes, they do. This region is referred to as the root of the tooth. Just like plant roots, these roots help in anchoring the tooth firmly in the socket of the gums. Now let's talk about the next part. This one. Do you know what this is called as? It's called the pulp. And why so? Well, the portion is extremely soft and fleshy and is richly supplied with blood vessels and nerves. So whenever we feel the pain in our mouth, it's this region that sends us a signal. So is that its sole function? Of course not. The blood vessels in the pulp help in nourishing the tooth. Now, are you able to locate this part? This is called the cementum. Isn't the name self-explanatory? Yes, it acts like a tough layer that covers the complete root. As you can notice here, the structure widely spreads across the complete root of the tooth. So this is the structure of a typical tooth. The crown is this topmost region that is usually visible to us. It consists of an extremely hard protective layer called the enamel. Below this is the dentine. And just below the dentine comes the root which has this fleshy pulp richly supplied with blood vessels and nerves. This is one more layer called the cementum that covers the root from below. And this root is embedded in this jawbone as we can see here. This bone is covered on top with the gum. So this is how the complete tooth appears to us in a cross section. So are we done learning about the teeth? Of course not. There are several amazing concepts yet to be covered. Let's meet in the next video and cover these concepts.